Today, we are gonna make lightsabers in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. So I have this random shot that I downloaded off of YouTube. Hopefully they don't get too mad that I'm using their sword fighting clip. All we're gonna do is get our clip down in the timeline, go on up to your titles and generators and scroll down to find your solids. Look up for the custom solid and then we're gonna shorten this down. You can do option and right bracket and that will trim it down to the length of your clip. From there, we can go into our generator options here and set the color to something like white or we'll go ahead and do a blue. From there, we're gonna wanna go down to our effects inspector and we're gonna look up the draw mask, drop that on there and it's important you do this in this order. Then we're gonna look up the neon effect which is brand new in Final Cut Pro 10.6 and we're gonna drop that onto our custom object there. Now we're gonna go over to our video inspector, select our draw mask and just create four points. It doesn't matter where, we're gonna move them a little bit later. Perfect, we now have a basic lightsaber. So you're gonna wanna find your starting frame here and I'm going to just drag these points to be over the top of where we want our lightsaber to be. Now I'm going to drop the opacity completely so I can see exactly where my points need to be. And it's gonna be important that you match the motion blur of your scene. So you can see how the shape of his sword is kind of this broader shape at this end and um, narrow at this end. That is going to really add some nice dynamics to your animation. And speaking of animation, how do we animate this? Well, you're gonna come on over to the control point and click this keyframe button. And now you can jump forward a frame and adjust these points to match wherever the sword is. So you can just go through frame by frame dragging these points. This is a tedious process for sure, but if you do it well, it's going to look so good and you are gonna have an epic lightsaber. And one thing I would quickly add is that you can actually animate the fill opacity to 0% when it goes behind him and then add another keyframe and animate it back up to 100%. Um, and that'll give the illusion of it going behind him. Sometimes the lightsaber will technically need to be passing behind him, but will still slightly be visible. So this is how you add a mask really quickly. So right here, technically it should be passing behind him instead of in front of him. You could push option, click and drag and put that above. And we could just do a really quick draw mask on this upper layer here. And I'll just make it super basic right around him, just like that. And then you could feather it quite a bit, maybe drag the fall off down, and then we can cut off the frames before and the frames after so that it passes behind him and looks a bit more realistic. So that is how you can do some quick masking. Also, let me show you how you can make this lightsaber look a bit more implemented into the scene. First, we're gonna wanna work with the blend mode. So if we come down to our compositing blend mode, we'll just set it to add, and that will help it have a little bit more of a glow effect in the scene. Also, we could push option, click and drag, and we'll just duplicate this lightsaber. And now we're gonna go into the color and change it to white. So now it's got a nice white glow with a blue outer edge, which looks a little bit closer to what the movies do. Now this is a little bit intense, so we can come back here and dial down the opacity, and that should make it implement a lot better. So basically from this point, you would just replicate all of these steps for the red lightsaber and you would be set. So that wraps up making lightsabers without any plugins. But don't leave just yet because I am gonna show you a plugin that is going to help tremendously make these even better. So what we're gonna do is use M Flare for my friends at Motion VFX. I actually purchased this with my own money, but I do have an affiliate link, and if you use that, that does help me out tremendously. Anyway, we're gonna come forward to the places of impact, and we'll just mark it with M, and you'll just go through and find all of your impact zones here. Now we are just going to scroll down and find M Flare 2. You can see we have 
so many flares to work with. I really like the space radiation one. So we are just gonna drag that onto our clip and you can see we have full control here. We can drag this flare wherever we want. We can drag the actual additional flare over here. We can change the color of it to whatever we like. And it does have a really, really solid tracker built into it. So you can use that to get the flare tracked into a scene very, very quickly. So all we are going to do is find our places of impact. We will add a keyframe to our brightness to make sure it's that full 100. Actually, we'll drag it up to 200. We'll go back a frame or two and we'll set it to zero so that it just ramps up to full impact and then we'll go forward a couple frames with the arrow keys and drop it back down to zero. And that's just gonna give us that illusion of impact really quick. So I have all of those added in and you can see how amazing this plugin is at adding the energy to this scene. So the last step would be to add in some sound effects, which I just did a quick Google search. There are tons of free lightsaber sound effects online. So make sure you go and download those, add them to your scene, and you will be set with an epic lightsaber battle. So that wraps up the lightsaber tutorial. However, there was a ton of extra stuff I did with particle effects and stuff like that. So I created an extension of this tutorial for my patrons over on patreon.com. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.